Okay, so for example number two, remember all we're doing today is uh, finding numbers that will not work for the denominator that will give you zero. So all you're really doing is factoring that denominator. That's it. Okay, so this is a rational expression. And to factor this one is a little bit different. Jog your memory a little bit. The C term is negative 5. So I have to find the factors of negative 5 that when added together give us 4. That's really easy. It's going to be 5 and negative 1. Okay, so now we have to then simply split this up into two different factors. We know that n is going to be in both of them. And we know that these two terms, oops, sorry, my finger's in the way. These two terms are going to be my second term. So we're going to say plus 5, minus 1. Does everyone understand how I got this? Remember that when we add these two together, we get 4. When we multiply them together, we get negative 5. Now it's simple. Set them equal to 0. n plus 5 equals 0. n minus 1 equals 0. n equals negative 5. And n equals 1. So that means 5 and 1 are excluded numbers. Those are the two numbers that we cannot use for this this function right here because it would give us a zero and remember zero it wouldn't be a rational expression it wouldn't make it rational the denominator can't be zero so you're only finding the numbers that we need to exclude today good luck